Let's talk a minute about tapered wheel bearings and packing grease in them. There are a couple easy ways to do it. There are some ways that I've seen people do that are truly not effective. They don't actually move any grease around. And uh, But if you're actually getting grease into that groove in there and pushing grease out through these bearings and up through this upper race, then there's really no wrong way of doing it. So I'm going to show you two ways. We have two bearings and uh, we're going to go ahead and do two methods of packing grease into them. So both of these wheel bearings have had have been just cleaned off as much as possible. Uh, they have not been tanked. They are used bearings, but they're in good shape. There's no damage, no pits. And the first method we're going to use to pack a bearing is my little tool here, which seems like it ought to be fairly automated, but uh, kind of isn't. So what it is, there's grease in the bottom here, and then there's this white disc in there with that O-ring seal, and grease is forced up through some holes in that white disc as you put pressure on the system. And you push down with that, and you're forcing grease up and through the uh, white disc and through the bearing. It takes quite a bit of pressure. The goal would be just to keep pushing down on it until you get enough grease through it. You can see we got all fresh grease up in there. So that's one method. It works, takes a lot of pressure, and you have to have a tool. Now I'm going to show you another method, which just requires getting a little dirty. And the trick here is we want to force grease from the back side of the bearing up through that race, through between all those bearings. So we're going to put a decent amount of grease in our hands. Get that down into the palm of your hand. And I bought this tool quite a long time ago, and it works just fine, but for the most part, this is how I usually do it. And all you're doing is you're, you're pushing down with that bearing and into the palm of your hand, and you're kind of rubbing like you're trying to pull all that grease up off your palm. And the goal is, is to, you're trying to shove that grease through the, through the bearing. And you can see it's starting to come out here now. And the pressure of pushing it into your palm is what's pushing it through the bearing. See, so you've got a nice flow there. Take it, the excess grease off, and move around just a little ways and continue the process. It's fairly quick, it's just fairly messy, and hence the reason I'm wearing gloves. I've seen people supposedly doing this method and instead of forcing that grease into those races or in between those races and getting that bulge what they do is they go and they smear it all over the outside nothing ever actually comes through and then they go okay I'm done well they actually haven't done anything at that point all they've done is move the grease around the outside the goal is to push the old grease out and get new grease in. The old grease is almost always going to be black. So, you know, if you like, I had already cleaned these bearings off pretty well, so we're just getting a little bit of black coming through. You just want to wipe that off, throw it on the, get it on a rag, get it out of your, your mix. There's no sense in it going back into the bearing. But just keep it up until the whole bearing is packed. and you've been around it at least once or twice and you're confident that you have all new grease through that bearing. Thanks for watching Allison Customs Project Car TV. Like us on Facebook and check us out at allisoncustomsonline.com.